It was kind of like just drinking from a beautiful well. It changed the way that I view the world. What a core curriculum does is it opens you up to the vast field of human understanding and puts you in touch with these dialogues that long precede you. The word education, you know, that word educo from Latin educo educera, to lead us up to something, up to something higher. The medievals placed all the liberal arts in the solar system. Each of them was assigned a planet. Liberal arts have been defined a lot of different ways. One is humanities, non-sciencey things. A guy in the fifth century named Martian said the liberal arts are the quadrivium, the way of four, uh, geometry, arithmetic, harmonics, music, and astronomy, and grammar, logic, dialectic, and rhetoric. While the subjects are distinct, they all operate in such unity and harmony together. And I think that part of what begins to take place as you work through the core is you see the harmony and the unity running through subjects as diverse as economics, to history, to literature, to law, and even the sciences. All of these are giving an underlying picture where you come to see the reality and the unity that permeates all of the world that we see. They start to see how all their classes are pointing to the same thing. There's overlap when they're studying um, U.S. history. They see connections with literature and they see connections with, with uh, uh, philosophy and, and political science. And, they, and, and there's a kind of, of expansive uh, enthusiasm for the, the grandeur of, of really the enterprise of, of discovery. And education in its past is really that. It's hard to do when you have distribution requirements because there's not this common language, this common knowledge, understanding amongst the students. The core empowers our students to do that in a way that distribution requirements will miss. I prefer to call them the liberating arts because they free you. That's, that's the bigger telos, purpose of the liberal arts. One of the ideals of a liberal education classically is really to create citizens who are capable of self-government. There was an attempt to put together a curriculum that produced the kinds of citizens uh, who could uh, think intelligently about, about uh, their, their, themselves, about history, about questions about justice and the good, and, and could also act in such a way that they could, they could govern themselves. The core as its whole prepares, and I felt prepared me to launch into any direction that I was going. I felt like my foundation was very solid as a result of the comprehensiveness of the core. I wrote more papers here for Patrick Henry than I wrote anywhere, including law school. I was drawn to uh, you know a lot of things about the school, but uh, you know if I'm being honest, the biggest thing was the emphasis on communication, which I, I had an interest in law. I figured I wanted to do that, so learning how to write, learning how to speak, learning how to communicate ideas. The core and the approach, both from the professors and from the students and from the texts themselves, apply today. Even in my work as in operations, my work as an educator, my work as a mentor, my work in nonprofit, across all of those spheres. Having run a company for many, many years, um, it was really difficult finding college graduates right out of school that could contribute. Um, here our kids can contribute, and our goal is that they can be invited to the table, the decision-making table. Looks aren't everything, so the externals like a big name, um, prestigious status, huge campus, um, those don't actually matter um, as much as they want you to think that they do. What matters is the actual substance of the education offered by a college, which inevitably includes the substance of the people there who are going to impart that education to you. Um, education is always formation. So don't think so much, what career am I gonna do? And then choose the college, um, depending on that answer to that question. Ask yourself instead, um, what kind of person do I wanna be? And the college that will form you towards that end will by far comprise the most fulfilling experience you could ever ask for and 
the best preparation um, for whatever field you do end up in. Patrick Henry College earns a What Will They Learn A grade for the strength of its curriculum. Less than 2% of schools earn an A rating. For more information, including other schools' ratings, visit whatwillthelearn.com.